This is the Nature City Festival Review, heard every day this week on CFCR 90.5 with yours truly, Franny Rollick. The Nature City Festival runs from May 25th to 31st right here in Saskatoon. To learn more and check out a schedule of events, go to wildaboutsaskatoon.org. All right, I'm here with Keith Giroux. He's the owner of the fairly new Wild Birds Unlimited here in Saskatoon, and he just finished a talk as part of the Nature City Festival. So do you want to just tell us a little bit about what the talk was about and maybe a bit about your store as well? Uh, the talk was about uh, hummingbirds. Uh, we have one species of hummingbird that comes to Saskatoon, the ruby-throated hummingbird. And I think anybody who's ever seen a hummingbird or watched them is totally impressed because they're such an awesome little bird that can cover 2,500 miles one way in its migration pattern and does a lot of other amazing things. And this talk was a, almost an hour, and I, I'm still amazed at some of the things that they can do. And about the store, we opened, uh, we had our grand opening in uh, March, and we're a specialty store for people that are really into the hobby of backyard birding and other nature activities. We stock a lot of feeders and bird seed, books, optics, um, and a lot of advice for people that are having trouble. A lot of people find that they tried bird feeding and end up with a big mess in their yard and sprouting grains everywhere and just got fed up. And so there's a way to do it without having that those issues and without having rodents or other things. And, and we just help people do that. And people were really impressed by the support people have been giving us. It's been great. Great. And so hummingbirds are one of those birds that everyone wants in their backyard. So what is your advice to attracting them? Well, if you live in the north, in the boreal forest, you don't have to do much. Just put a few feeders out and they'll come because that's where they're headed. If you live in the city of Saskatoon or some of the major centers, you're going to have to work a little bit harder. starts with, of course, putting up feeders. And if you, if you think like a hummingbird and create a habitat that's attractive to the female hummingbird, you will, you will probably get them. And if you do get them, they'll come back year after year because they come into the same yard, same feeders every time. And they'll live to about 10 years or so. And we do have people getting them in Saskatoon, even though a lot of people say they don't nest here, they will, but you have to be diligent. Great, thanks for your time. Thank you. And now a bit of a clip from the keynote speaker from the Nature City Festival from landscape architect, Douglas Olson. I'm going to talk tonight about the need for refocusing how we look at cities and how we plan for the future. That we really need to think of landscape as being the driving force or the primary consideration in the organization of, of urban areas. That we start with the land first, we have a far better chance of achieving a decent place in the end. I'm gonna, this approach really isn't, isn't new. I think landscape architects have been doing it for a long time, um, although uh, with limited success. We need to look broadly across the entire region, and we need to look uh, uh, at finer scales uh, uh, in the context uh, for which uh, cities are uh, placed, and then keep moving down in scale until we get uh, right to the, to the fine scale, the site scale. So what is nature in the city? Calgary has uh, about 9% of the city is parkland, which isn't all that much, really. Uh, Red Deer has 25% of the city is, is parkland. I think you know, the way I calculated it, and I stand to be corrected, but um, there's about 1,000 hectares of parks in Saskatoon, and that, that uh, designated parks. And I know there's other green areas and important uh, natural areas, but that's approximately 6% of the area of Saskatoon. It's interesting when you look at uh, Red Deer, for instance, is just undergoing a, an expansion, uh, annexation, and looking at adding lands into their uh, growth in the next 30 to 40 years. They intend to keep that, that ratio up of approximately 25% of the land area being in protected or park areas. And these are the reasons why people love their cities. And there's, when, when, almost universally, when you talk about how, how, why people love their cities, aside from the, the really great big cities like New York and London and so on, 
But even there, uh, people are always talking about the parks and, and the access to green space and the importance of that is here in life. This has been the Nature City Festival Review, heard every day this week on CFCR. The Nature City Festival runs from May 25th to 31st right here in Saskatoon. To learn more and check out a schedule of events, go to wildaboutsaskatoon.org.